Okay, so it's been a couple days since we've been out here in the shop. Just gonna move those. So as you saw, me and Casey got the A-pillar plates mounted. We got the A-pillar tubes. They come up into the B-pillar. So now on the B-pillar, what I did is it's got this joint right here. This was sent to me in two pieces, the B pillar, and it's got a sleeve. So what you do is you drill two holes on each side of the pipe, and then you slide that sleeve in, you plug weld them, then you fit the B pillar in here and make sure that you like the distance side to side, and then you tack it, and then you weld it. So that's fully welded. The B pillar is done. It's got a tack here and then the a pillar is tacked to it on each side this center bar here is not tacked in place got a little bit of a gap there this upper bar is like super tight on that map light there it's only tacked in place too so we can make adjustments if we need to all right so now that we've got that kind of squared away that that's not as as important as the B pillar and the A pillar. Um. Oh, also, I went ahead and drilled all the holes in this. Me and Noah, you saw Noah in here. Me and Noah were doing that, so thank you, Noah. And those mount like that. There's two on the body, and then three with a sandwich plate. It's the same on that side. Same on the fronts. Um, so now what we got to do is we have another hoop that goes up and over and down, which is called the C pillar. We got these plates mounted right to the, to the wheel well there. And then you're going to have a couple stringers. I'm going to call them that go from here to that hoop, which are these bars right here. So what me and Noah did is we got... We set the, the C pillar in here, made sure we liked the distance, made sure our plates and our tubes were gonna land. And uh, if you come over here, this is our C pillar. I plug welded one side just so the sleeve wouldn't uh, slide. Let me try and do this one handed. There you go, you can see that sleeve in there. So basically it's just gonna be completely all the way together and then we're gonna there's a plug hole there's another one on the other side right there we're gonna weld that and then we're gonna weld this seam and then we're gonna put it back in the truck and then we're gonna land the tubes in the corners from the B pillar to this C pillar just tack everything in the only thing I don't know how we're gonna do this, and it doesn't say anywhere on the 4X instructions, is how to finish weld the whole cage. Um, I've seen uh, uh, their first gen 4Runner kits where you basically build this front half and then you slide it out, finish weld it, because they have the hard top. You can just take the top off, slide everything out, and then you put this back in and then they have, they just have a B pillar and then they have tubes that land into the bed of the first gen forerunner. This one though is a full length cage. So it's literally gonna go all the way to the back. I have no idea how to weld some of these. Like how do you get to the top of this joint right here without just melting the shit out of your headliner? So I gotta figure that out and then yeah, after everything's tacked in, I don't I don't even know. So I want to get the main structure, fin figure out how to, you know, weld everything in. And then I think I'm going to worry about the tubes. So there's a tube, a center tube that goes from here to here, from here to the C pillar. And then there's some cross bracing in the D pillar area. So that's kind of where we're at today. So... As of right now, I'm just going to get this welded up 
and then try and get it in place by myself. Should be, should be all right. Cause I think if I can get the tubes in and then use a tie down or something like that to hold it together and tack it, it might just work. So it's kind of a long rant, but that's what we're up to. Alrighty, so there's our C pillar. Got it tacked in. What I did is I had a, I've got my digital angle finder here. And it was at 89 point like 95. Got it close to 90 as I could, tacked it in, just held it by hand because I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out another way to do it, but that made it super nice for this tube. It's nice and tight, but I can still move it. So got it in line with this one. Looks like it might need to come down just a little bit. And then up in the rear, you can see the bubble level there. So that's basically how I'm going to get those parallel, but yeah, it's looking good. Wish I could film and do everything all at once. I do have a tripod, but it'd be just a lot of you guys watching me drop this on my head. So yeah, we're making progress slowly but surely. Check it out. C-pillar, C crossbars, center bar. The center bars aren't tacked in. I need to get them like more straight with each other. It's kind of hard because I had to climb out of the 400, climb back in, adjust it, climb back out. But it's getting pretty late. So I think I'm going to call it a day today. I did get something done. So got to call it a win. Um, my welds on these, the center sections here where the sleeve goes uh really fought me getting that center bar in after i tacked these in i should have put one in center bar other side bar because i spent like 20 minutes trying to hammer that thing in there and i ended up grinding the welds down which i didn't really want to do but it's the only way i could get it in oh, i wrapped a strap around it to my tailgate kind of put some pressure off of it and then hammered it in there it's turning out pretty good though Still don't know how to finish weld it because I mean like it's tight dude. I don't know how they do it so and I'm not going to wheel this thing with a half welded cage I'll tell you that much. Okay guys so last time we left off we just got this C pillar in place with these crossbars. I need to get them straightened out and then tacked in. We only have these five tubes left right here. These are your D pillar. This is uh, like a crossbar that goes in between the D pillar. And then this is like some triangulation pieces. But you're gonna go like this and then like this. Um, I just got off the phone with 4X Innovations asking how you fully weld this thing. And basically what I got was you either just weld as much as you can, or you have to put those uh, like tube clamps where it splits the tube in half. You got some bolts and then you undo it. Basically make it removable. So I feel like even if I did the tube clamps, I still don't think I could get that B pillar out the back of the Forerunner. So I don't really know what to do about that. I'm going to call one of my buddies, see what he thinks. Um, he, I had another guy recommend that I take the plates out 
drill a two inch hole or whatever, drop the, I mean, on every single leg, I'd have to do that. And basically you can just drop the cage down to weld the top. I know I can't do it on those ones. The body, there's some weird things underneath the body that would, wouldn't allow a big hole like that. Everywhere else, I think you'd be fine. But uh, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Check that out. D pillar is in with the cross. None of this is tacked up yet. Still working on fitment. So what I'm working on right now is we've got these grab handles. This is the driver's seat. Got the welding blanket in there. Don't want to ruin the dash. So these are like nice little 30 degree bends. There's going to be one on the passenger side. Ding. And then we have 15 degree bands here that are going to sit up here for the passengers. So I'm just kind of working on those. And that's where we're at with that. Check it out. We've got our grab handles in the passenger area in. Got them on the driver's side, passenger side. The only thing we have left to do as far as like what tubes need to go in here, we have these little oh, my bad. These little uh corner gussets. One goes there, one goes in that corner, and then in the front. But I want to be able to weld all these tubes before I put those in. This will be like the last thing I weld in. So yeah, I just gotta figure out how to drop the cage and uh, finish weld this whole thing. And then somehow paint it. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just drill holes and drop the cage down. Not really what I want to do, but don't really have a choice. But it turned out good. It's really tight. It's like super tight right there. And then the light back here, it's super tight. But should be really freaking strong. I do want to do a frame tie-in kit eventually take a tube and land it to that frame there i just want to get it in and welded before i do any of that so what do you guys think would you do this to your third gen <laughs> uh man i was thinking like if it would go in pretty easy i would do it to my black one just because you never know what's gonna happen but like I no longer have sun visors. Um, the carpet, I don't know how the hell we're gonna get the carpet back in and look clean. Um, just, oh, there's those giant holes right there. You can see from the, uh, like the cover that goes across the back. So I, I just, I wanna keep that thing super clean. I don't really care. I don't really care about this one. It's a rock crawler. So, just 
wanted to show you guys what it looks like. All the tubes. Should be pretty legit. All the plates. Really tight right there. You can't even, you can barely see. So the fit and finish is really good. Like, I like that. All right, guys, so we brought Chase over here because I'm too much of a wuss. We ended up drilling two inch holes in the end of the body and we dropped the whole cage down. Now we can weld the whole thing. Good soup. Good soup. The only ones we couldn't drop are the fronts just because it's weird. But yeah. Time to weld this POS. Well, that means that this cage is fully welded. My buddy Chase came over and helped me bust this thing out. This thing is fully welded. Plates are bolted down. Turned out freaking sweet, dudes. Got the handles in. Oh, I'm so stoked. There's a few things I want to add, like a dash bar, maybe some X bracing between this B pillar, things like that, make it a little stronger. But looks freaking awesome. So that's going to be the end of this video. Just got to put the interior back in and we're off to Trail Hero. Stoked. Huge thanks to Chase, Casey, Noah, everyone who helped me. You guys are the best. All welded, gusseted, everything. So, hell yeah. Check it out. We got an interior back in. This carpet's already kind of janky, plus it's hard as hell to put it behind these plastic trim pieces when you can't pull the, pl the trim out and it looks all right it's a rock crawler fully welded interior is back in it looks freaking killer don't mind my seat anybody got a limited driver's seat i'll take it off your hands yeah i'm happy guys we're gonna go to trail hero tear it up we'll hit a few trails i'm only there for a minute this is what it looks like with the doors closed and you can kind of see it through that front windshield looks nice turned out killer it's time to go have some fun safely <laughs> but there's a few things i want to change this change to this cage in the future but we'll get that we'll get to that another day Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.